Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and while the holidays rolls off, I've got to spend the time repairing laptops and making videos, and one of them stand out. Instantly remembered MKBHD's interview to Apple about the MacBook Pro. Great laptop at the time, and it helped me out a lot. The webcam made the videos, and at the top of that laptop, it had this little function bar with like a volume slider and some little brightness buttons. This is the HP DP3, the laptop with the so-called touch bar, even before Apple launched it. I'm Kabita Tech, and this is the Retro Review. This is the HP DB3 2130EA, a notebook launched almost 10 years ago, and this unit has a CPU pan problem. I had a short time to fix and fiddle it, and here it is. I was actually surprised with the specifications of this computer. By the time, this has some big specs for the money, starting with the 2.2GHz i3 first gen processor, an unusual 3 gigs of RAM that is DDR3, a dedicated 512 MB of VRAM supplied by the ATI Radeon HD4550 graphics card and a 13.3 inch HD screen that is touch enabled. Storage wise, you're looking at a 7 to 200 RPM hard drive which is 256 gigs in size. Quite big for that time. Inclusion of the fingerprint scanner, the light up logo on the back with a great design, an IR remote for entertainment, tons of ports, a great keyboard, and a touch bar that if you press will activate Windows features, for example, the sound. Much like in the MacBook Pro, you control the volume using a touch and drag feature. And for the Wi-Fi connection, you tap it and will disable or enable the connection as well as change the indication of the color. So how does the performance fare this 2017? Pretty good actually. Windows 7 seems pretty speedy with this laptop. I've tried the general stops like writing, drawing, and using the computer, and it worked just fine. And then I tried video playback on YouTube, and it's very smooth even on 480p or 720p content. I don't expect this kind of performance for an old machine, but do remember this was a beast before, and in spite of the oldness, this can serve good for 2017. With the little time I got with this device, I really liked it. This product indicated the future of laptops, having touchscreens like Windows 8 and Surface Pros, to having what is known today as the touch bar. If only someone can make another one of this picture-packed laptop, I would buy it. So that's about it guys, I'm Johan Villanueva. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and thanks for watching.